Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to the Grand Adventures of Hazardos and Basenji. We are doing well. We've got 85 million in the bank. Everybody loves us. I mean, the, the Patriots love us. Like, literally, they're at 100%. Capitalists love us. They're, they're losing a little a privileged turn, but the things we've done um, uh, are outweighing that. Same with the fundamentalists. Even the liberals love us. That's pretty good when the capitalists and the liberals love you at the same time. Uh, we'll talk to our general, General Nader. Generals of your armed forces stand ready to execute your orders. Uh, how's the military morale? We might have done this last episode. How is morale within our armed forces? If you don't mind me saying, the troops love you. They will follow your orders faithfully. That is excellent. Because if the troops love us, then uh, Nader Thanks. here. That's all for now. Uh, general Nader Adad is likely to also. So we have 89% approval rating. Parliament loves us. 100% maximum loyalty in the Parliament. But the only person who doesn't like us is our brother Farouk, who is uh, jealous. Things are going pretty damn good. And recently we called up all our neighbors. I think that was the last episode. Like the neighboring countries around us. And uh, Zarbil... Uh, Babelistan and uh, Axtajan all kind of like us too. And the minister, um, Al Jabari, he owns, owes us a favor that'll help us with the conservatives that we're waiting to cash until we need it. Civil war has broken out in Ax Axtajan. A large number of refugees are crossing into your borders. Hmm. We can close the border and have them removed to return to their country of origin. Seek UN assistance to help these refugees get settled. Or keep the borders open and start a fund to care for our brothers. Man. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to be cash compassionate. Because when we had a king that kept us down and that the Western powers had um, supported, you know, our fellow neighbors in the region, in this case, Babelstan, helped us out. So we're going to keep the borders open and start a fund to care for our brothers. Maybe the Patriots don't like it or the capitalists, but that's all right. We're doing the right thing for the neighborhood. And our neighbors there love us. Maybe it's worth giving them a call. Man, look, they absolutely love us. Thank you for taking my call. What's up, bro? Oops, I didn't want to trade. My bad. Um. Oh, man, do I talk about extremism? Wait, you like the old ways, don't you? Well, both of these are different because we're more liberal than them. We're not going to tell him the old ways don't make sense. And I don't think I want to tell him not to institutionalize it. Maybe we'll talk about extremism and see what he thinks. We must work together to counter extremism both within and outside our borders. We share your deep concern and hope to work together to root out these violent individuals and bring them to justice. Excellent. I love it. Take it easy, bro. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. Man, that's pretty successful. They absolutely love us. Even the United States of America does. In fact, they said they're going to write something about us. Maybe it's in the newspaper? Oh, the Senji refugee crisis. Glorious leader generously funds refugee camps. Still talking about my damn brother's hairstyle. Uh, government expands security mandate, assumes greater powers in the interest of protecting Basenji. Yeah, last time we started some military stuff. Man, look at that. Capitalists are almost 50% of the population. And we are just... We couldn't be more popular. The people are complaining about the high salaries and generous pensions being awarded to serving ministers while the government continues to cut public benefits. They see your government as corrupt and bloated, disconnected with the challenges of the average person. Well, we can either side with the ministers, who we are at 100% popularity with, and say, yes, you deserve a lot, but then the people are going to be mad at us. In this case, always side with the people. We're going to side with the people and be like, you're right, people. Parliament makes too much. We're going to cap ministerial salaries at current levels and index pensions to the rates offered to the public. Which is going to make, um, yeah, the ministers of Parliament won't like it. But look, the citizens love it. Holy crap, we're motherfucking popular. 
And we are so popular with Parliament, and we have been, that despite that, they still love us. We are that popular. And part of it is because we're that popular with the people, they don't want to piss the people off. Our trade agreements with Zarbal have expired. Um, more Basinji citizens identify as liberal. Why don't we call up our neighbor? Who's that, Zarbal? See if he wants to buy some more crap. Oh man, maybe we'll call up uh, actually Axtajan. Thank you for taking my call. Uh, would you like to trade some stuff? Man, goat prices have dropped a ton. That sucks. Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji electronics? Taking into account our positive relationship, these are the terms we are prepared to agree to. Ooh, 100% of the market rate. I guess it's good that they love us. Uh, do we have anything else you want to buy? Yeah, you want to buy some goats? Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji goats? Taking into account our positive relationship, these are the terms we are prepared to agree to. I bet you're going to sex them. 103% of the market rate? Man, it's a good thing we're friends. Are there any issues we should discuss while we're at it? Probably not. Take it easy, man. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. Yes, the best of goodbyes to you, too. We had a minister who wanted us to raise our trade income. Wait, no. Let's see. Iqbal, he has, he has the um, favor we can call in about capitalists that we're waiting on. It's. I wait. I thought we. Didn't we have someone that wanted to. I could have sworn in the last episode they did. Whatever. Did I just do that for nothing? Well, we needed the money either way. We don't get any bonuses because we don't have any of these third things, but I don't think it's worth wasting the money to. Uh, oh, we could make sweatshops more effective. Let's see how much it would cost to get cashmere shirts. Who's got them? Sarbil. Thank you for taking my call. Oh, they don't seem to be that much for trade garments. We are interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we purchase your garments. Taking into account our positive relationship, these are the terms we are prepared to agree to. It sounds funny. Like, I want to buy your clothes. <laughs> yeah, we'll buy it. That's a cheap price. Five million per turn. Good deal. Hazardous is good at trade deals. Um, they're not... Wait, who are we talking with? I don't remember. I think it's Tsar Bill. I don't... They probably like the UN. Huh. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. Bye, bro. Man, that's successful. So we should have some bonuses now, too. It will double the effect of our sweatshops. I'm pretty sure we bought sweatshops. Let me make sure. <laughs> so if we go to infrastructure. If we go to... Yes, we do have sweatshops. Let us build a wild... Oh, let's see. Oh, man. These guys are so happy right now. Liberals are at 100%. Hmm, we might wait on that until we need it for the wildlife preserve. Let's build visitor screening. Visa applications will be scrutinized against the database of individuals deemed by the Basenji Intelligence Service to be a threat to regime. This policy will also provide better tools to screen incoming travelers for communicable diseases. Good, because we don't want people coming in here and bringing diseases. We don't need your herps in my country. This is a no herp zone. Uh, the city of Majimaraha. Maraha? is seeking approval to build new water reservoirs to accommodate its growing population. This will severely reduce the amount of water for nearby rural villages. God, what do we do? If we say no, the capitalists are bound to be mad. If we say yes, the fundamentalists are bound to be mad. You know, we're going to protect the fundamentalists here, because we always protect the capitalists. Oh, the liberals didn't like it either, but that's all right. I just don't want to anger the fundamentalists because we have less ways to make the fundamentalists happy. Man, look at those. 
Hundred percent, ninety-four, eighty, ninety-six percent. We have model law enforcement in this country. Voluntary prayer week. Businesses are penalized for failing to grant an employee requests for a week of leave for prayer, but are permitted to stay open during that time. See, we're we're we're, we're compromising between the old beliefs and the new beliefs. Um, there's gambling allowed, but only government-run casinos, because the government doesn't have any soul anyway to lose. Parliament, we're 100% successful. Let's see what's in the news. A Yodeling River project under government consideration. Local farms deemed too critical for our future. Let's see, yet another property developer absconds with billions. New mega project is revealed to be just a SimCity screenshot. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Ah, liberals are growing some. Doesn't matter though, I mean... Popular, popular. Let's go take a look at the world map. Yeah, nothing new we can do here. I would love to have built that pipeline, but you know how it is. It's just wow, everything's going well. I guess I could call the ambassador and see what he's up to. Good day, ambassador. Would you be free to meet sometime in the next few weeks? It's always a pleasure, Your Excellency. I would be happy to meet with you when an opportunity opens in our busy schedules. I will not get busy in your schedule. I don't need to. Man, if we had a little bit more money, I would start considering a, a space program. But unfortunately, that is not viable at this time. Illegal immigrants across from uh, Babelistan are increasingly seen as taking jobs away from your citizens and contributing to unemployment. Well, we could increase penalties to stop the illegals. And uh, we could increase penalties to those who harbor and employ illegals. Normally, that's what I would do if we had a problem. If we had a job problem, yeah. Um, the Patriots would love that. But the Patriots love us 100%. But if I do that, uh, Babelistan would like us less. And I do want Babelistan to still like us. So we're going to offer amnesty to the illegals and make them register to pay taxes. The Patriots will not like that. But that's all right. Hey, what's up, UN man? I'm so much better than King Salman, aren't you right? Don't you agree? Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is my pleasure. It is. Um, well, I'm not going to insult America, but we'll exchange small talk. Tell me, how are you enjoying our country? I have always been passionate about Basinji and its people. I am very happy to be posted there. Well, for me, it is always a delight seeing you, Ambassador. The highlight of my day, even. You are too kind. Thank you, Your Excellency. I think we just scored some points there. He's like, oh, what's Ernest? You like me? I believe that is all I have to say for the moment. Very well. Thank you for your hospitality. I hope we can chat again soon. Good, good, good. As much as those imperialist bastards put our country in a terrible spot, the last thing we want to do is make America mad at us. Get the fuck out of my office. The all-knowing Basinji dog looks over everything. So what's this? Basinji Intelligence Service Headquarters construct a large complex from which large-scale intelligence operations can be conducted. Funding towards intelligence collection can now be set in the Treasury menu. So long as the agency remains funded, useful information will be slowly gathered about your immediate neighbors. More funding will provide for faster intelligence collection. I think we want that, because right now we have no idea how strong our neighbors are. Almost said enemies. That's a Freudian slip. Like, we get along with our neighbors, we're really friends with them, and we want to stay friends. But the last thing we want is if they're preparing for something for us to get blindsided. So we're going to build an intelligence network. What is this? Clandestine facility? Hmm. I would love to build that, but once again, we do not want to overspend. Good to have some money in the bank, just in case. The United Nations is asking you to join in international sanctions against Tsar Bill, a country known to be engaging in an illegal clandestine chemical weapons production. Doing so would end any trade agreements you have established with this country. I believe we are selling stuff to Tsar Bill or buying stuff from them, so no. Sorry, UN, you can go get fucked. Tsar Bill likes us for that. UN does not. Get fucked, UN. Get fucked, America. Middle East for life. 
We stood up to them. We are making less money per turn. If we look at our budget, it's why. Because we have spies now. We have a state intelligence service. We're just going to leave that right there. I'll be like, tell me what kind of underwear they're wearing. I need to know. What kind of haircut is my brother getting next? I need to be ahead of that. This is always in the damn newspaper. Holy crap. 97, 98, 80%. 98% popularity. Outstanding. Let's take a look at the newspaper. United Nations applies sanctions. Basinji defies coalition of imperialist states. I mean... Why would I? UN, my people need to eat. I'm sorry, but my people need to eat. That comes first. We come first. ICBM game.com is there a real game like that should I look that up afterwards <laughs> that sounds fun international ballistic missile game we plash our rights for D singer flubs up national anthem during a football game fuck you bro get it right man such approval much wow We're just going to brag here. Look at the parliament loving us. Fantastico. Let me take a look at the big board. Hey, General Nader, Adad, Nadir, however I pronounced it before. Still very weak. We only have like three infantry divisions, one on each border. But our neighbors love us. If we look at the trade, we're trading with Akhjistan and Zarbil. Yeah, definitely we were trading with Zarbel. We were buying uh, clothes from them to help out our sweatshops. Or we were buying textiles, I guess, to um, help out our sweatshops. 95% approval rating. Holy crap. Those are the kind of numbers that people make up. An unstable schizophrenic was found wandering the halls of the royal palace armed with a knife. Thankfully, he was stopped by the palace guard before he was able to get to you or to your family. My family! Which I don't know what my family is, but that ma bastard could have stabbed them. Oh, that's going to make Hazardous worried. They're everywhere. Are they in the dog painting? Are they hiding in the flag? Are they in the globe? Are they in my soft, soft cushions? Better read the newspaper to take my mind off of it. Palace security measures under review. Yeah, because a crazy got in here. Local parrot... <laughs> Flagrantly violate public intoxication laws. Hundreds of parrots intoxicated on fermented fruit. I want to be too. That sounds good. All right, let's build some more infrastructure. I want to build this clandestine facility. I've never built one before. A remote site known only by a small number of individuals where the most secretive activities are conducted. Building the site will allow for additional special projects to be undertaken from the Situation Room. That or a cyber warfare division. I think we'll go with the clandestine one. It cost us some support from the um, parliament. You see it went from 100 to 90, but we're doing so well there. I believe if we go to the situation room, and we go to the clandestine operations board, there will be some new things available to us that weren't before. Because before we could do a space program. Um, I forget what the others were. And before we could do a space program, a hydroelectric dam, or giant firewall, now we can do brainwash an assassin. Our scientists will experiment with hypnotic suggestion and deep brain stimulation to convert an innocent civilian to an untraceable, guiltless assassin. When complete, you can violently eliminate the leader of a neighboring country and potentially plunge it into civil war. We don't need that because we love our neighbors. Um, time... Presidential time machine, life has no undo button until now. If this program is successful, we will build a time machine capable of sending one supreme dictator back in time to make different choices and prevent cast catastrophe from occurring to Basenji. That is tempting. And a nuclear weapons development. Once we are in possession of nuclear weapons, our rivals will think twice about attacking. Under this program, Basenji scientists and engineers will build several secret nuclear enrichment facilities to produce fissile material for use in a nuclear weapon. If we are discovered by, you know, international inspectors, however, we risk becoming an international pariah. It could even be invaded by our enemies. Um, I almost wish I'd not bought the clandestine facility now, but it's cool. 
If anything, the time machine sounds awesome. Well, we would definitely want to save up a little more money before we get going onto that. Either way, it does open up some new opportunities. What else can we get, infrastructure-wise? Riot police. Military readiness document docu uh, stuff. Cyber warfare division. Counterterrorism unit. I would kind of like that. Hmm. Well, we'll focus that on that in future episodes. I oh, kind of ought to probably consider doing the cartel, too. We'll wait till we get some more money. Either way, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm having a lot of fun playing Rogue State. Um, we are almost, what, two-fifths of the way there? Because I believe it's turn 50 is how long we have to stay in power before the new constitution is ready to go. It's a long way to go yet. It is going well yet, but there is a long way to go. I'll see you all in the next episode, and thanks so much for hanging out.